If you are looking for a job in current state of tech market, it is important that you show potential employer your commitment to grow and learn. Pursuing online courses and completing them will help you upskill and stand out in highly competitive job market. Online courses have completion rate of about 15%. Even I have started hundreds of courses that I have not completed. Completing a course will showcase your dedication and responsibility to finish a task. Platforms like Coursera, edX, Udacity and Udemy offer hundreds of courses on the same topic. There is a psychological term called paradox of choice, meaning too many choices will require a lot of effort to choose, leaving us frustrated and unsatisfied. There is also fear of missing out on other possible courses that you could have taken but you did not get the chance to do so. In this video, I will talk about top 10 programming courses that you can pursue to gain maximum knowledge and skills with minimum time investment. My name is Akash and for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a software engineer working at Microsoft. So let's get started. If you have just started learning programming and are looking to learn from the best institution, then CS50 from the Harvard University is a perfect course to pursue. The course starts with basic programming using C and it is designed to teach you how to think like a programmer. It focuses on coaching you to break down the problems and solving them using logic and critical thinking. Best part about CS50 is the type of assignments that starts from a simple hello world program to building your own search engine. And of course, don't get your hopes too high. The search engine that you'll be designing will be basic in nature and will not be able to compete with likes of Google. But it will teach you enough to become an intermediate programmer. The course is available on YouTube for free of cost. And it is also available on edX for minimal fees. Doing the course from edX will grant you access to the assignments and also additional functionalities like forums. And upon completion, you'll be able to receive a certification. But if you are just looking to upskill without spending any money, then YouTube version works just fine. If you are looking for an alternative to CS50, then MIT's Introduction to Programming is a great course to pursue. Good thing about the course is that it uses Python to teach you about programming. Learning programming using Python will be easier compared to C. However, you will miss out on critical concepts such as type checking and memory management. But you can always learn about this concept once you grab hold of basics of programming. Python will also help you easily understand the logic and critical thinking required to implement various type of programs. Course material including the assignment is available for free of cost on MIT's official website. And video lecture for the courses are available on YouTube for free of cost. Being consistent is critical for learning any skill. 100 days of code on Udemy is a course that will help you achieve that consistency. The course is very long as it has 100 modules that are of 1 to 2 hours each. You can complete one module a day to develop habit of coding regularly and learning by getting your hands dirty. The course also dives on concepts such as data science and web development throughout the 100 day duration. Exploring different topics within the tech industry will help you determine what you enjoy the most and eventually it will help you set proper trajectory to your career. However, the course is paid. And if you are looking for free resource, then pursuing CS50 or MIT's Introduction to Programming will be a better option compared to this course. After you have learned basics of programming, you should focus your attention on learning data structures and algorithms. Almost all tech interviews will have some questions that will be based on data structures and algorithms. So if you want to get a job in the tech industry, it is important that you have at least basic knowledge of data structures and algorithm. But even bigger question still remains, why is it important to learn about data structures and algorithms apart from getting a job in the tech industry? Imagine you have two different ways to implement a solution for a given problem. How would you know which approach is better? Or imagine you have a bottleneck in your program. How will you be able to remove it? Knowing data structures and algorithms will teach you to write programs that are efficient and scalable to large user base. Algorithms course from Princeton University is a great course to learn data structures and algorithms. The course is divided into two parts and is taught using Java programming language. It is taught by Professor Sedgwick who is renowned for inventing multiple algorithms. The course covers wide range of topics such as searching, sorting, graph algorithm, dynamic programming and many more. Pursuing this course will help you build deep foundation using various algorithms that will help you become an expert programmer. Moreover, it will help you a lot during your job interviews. Many people want to learn programming to develop a website. Modern websites are interactive, responsive and visually appealing. JavaScript is widely used for web development. Free Code Camp's introduction to JavaScript on YouTube is a great course to learn about basics of the language. Free Code Camp is also a great website to learn about web development in general. It has extensive curriculum with small exercises to teach you about the web development. 
Good thing about Free Code Camp is that it is completely free of cost. It teaches web development in a practical manner by asking you to implement various functionalities. Upon completion of the course, you'll receive a certification from Free Code Camp that you can add on your LinkedIn. If you want to learn about web development, I will highly recommend Free Code Camp. Speaking of web development, React is a very popular framework that has high demand in the tech industry. Meta, the company that developed React, offers a front-end developer professional certification. The biggest issue with learning web development is that there are too many technologies to learn. And as we learned, having too many choices can be frustrating. Meta's front-end developer professional certification on Coursera is perfect to learn web development without losing track. It costs about $270 to get certification. But if you do not care about certification, I'll highly recommend Free Code Camp and tutorials on YouTube for popular frameworks such as React and Next.js. But good thing about this course is that it is taught by staff at Meta who are expert in web development and has industry experience. The course covers wide range of topic in depth and will provide you with enough knowledge to get an entry level job as a front end engineer. Course begins with basic foundation of web development using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It covers popular web designing and styling framework called Bootstrap. Eventually it teaches you about React and good practices associated with it. It even focuses on UI and UX development using Figma. And finally the course ends with a section on the coding interview preparation. In short, the certification is a complete package designed to help you get a job as an entry-level front-end engineer. Data is an integral component of the modern technology. Every software or website that you'll interact with will collect data in one form or other. And if you want to get a job in the tech industry, it is important that you understand basics of the database. Database is basically a storage that stores collection of data in certain form. Harvard University CS50 has an additional course called Introduction to SQL on edX. The course is perfect for beginners to understand the basics of the database. It teaches you about SQL, a language that is used to interact with tabular databases. The course will provide you with enough knowledge to perform basic data related tasks for any role in the tech industry. I have added link to the course in the description below. All the courses that we have covered so far will help you get an entry level job in the tech industry. Main difference between junior and senior software engineer is their approach to solving a problem. Junior engineers tend to think of solving problems by writing code in efficient manner and as quickly as possible. Whereas senior engineers often think of broader picture, meaning they would understand how the feature implementation would impact the overall system and the business. And they will eventually implement a feature in a way that is resilient. In simple words, junior engineers tend to implement the feature as is. Whereas senior engineers tend to implement features while keeping rest of the functionalities in mind. Senior engineers tend to design architecture of the system to ensure that system is extendable, scalable and flexible. And the best way to learn about system design is to have deep understanding of technical concepts. Harvard CS75 has a great lecture on basics of system design. I have added link to the lecture in the description section. There are many other popular videos on YouTube for case studies on system design by Goro Sen and Code Curly. I would highly encourage you to watch those lectures to understand the system architecture in the modern world. It is impossible to function without mobile phones in today's world. There are many applications that are critical to our daily lives such as banking, maps, messaging and weather to name a few. Without these applications, we'll be cut off from fast-paced world. App development is one of the hard jobs sector within the tech industry. Almost 95% of the app development is focused on two platforms. Android and iOS. Stanford CS193P focuses on iOS development using Swift. Before starting the course, I'll highly recommend that your basic understanding of programming. Having knowledge of data structures and algorithm will help make your learning journey easy. The course focuses on teaching you about app design and iOS using concepts such as components, layouts, and more. Towards the end, the course also focuses on developing multi-platform apps that are compatible on Mac OS as well. Similar to iOS course, Stanford University also offers a course on Android app development. The course is known as CS193A Android app development. Apart from basic UI component and layout design, the course also focuses on teaching you about graphic, activities, list, and widget. Moreover, it also covers React, REST API, and databases. Towards the end of the course, you'll learn about game development, services, and notifications. Additional things such as maps, GPS, and location-related feature are also covered extensively in the course. Overall, it is an 18-lecture series covering a comprehensive guide to Android app development. 
I'll add link to the playlist in the description section below. These were the top 10 programming courses that you can take to upskill this year. At the end of the day, what matters the most is that you complete a single course from start to finish before pursuing another one. Do not try to pursue multiple different courses on the same topic at the same time because doing so will distract you and you will not end up finishing a single course. Once you have completed a course, determine the gaps in your knowledge and try to fill in the gaps. And completing the course will also help you add credential on your LinkedIn profile and resume to improve your job prospect and one last thing before i wrap up the video i have started offering sessions for resume review and job search guidelines for limited time the sessions are free and i have added link to my calendar in the description so book your session before the offer expires for free sessions i'll only be taking one booking per person that's it for this video please like share and subscribe and if you have any question comment below and i'll try my best to answer it thanks